testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with Sunday's one show. Uh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be on uh, the chosen one, not Tank Davis, the other chosen one, Edgar Berlanga, who scored a unanimous decision victory, not a first round knockout. Uh, we're going to get into all that, uh, but please, before we do, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media. Again, it is National Autism Month. Uh, there's a link in the description. Um, for Taka, which is the Autism Community in Action, please share it. Uh, please get it out there. Get the word out. Um, please, uh, if you can, please, uh, please donate to it. Um, again, 3D Box, 3D Box blogs on all forms of social media. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, but only once on Sunday. Uh, keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Let's get into today's show. So, Edgar... Belanger's first round knockout streak and knockout streak is over at 16. The streak is over. And I think that's a good thing. Um, I, I thought for a while, top rank was kind of um, matching him to keep the streak going as opposed to um, trying to grow him as a talent. Uh, um, I, I'm glad the streak is over now because now we can find out how good he is. Um, I was just looking at BoxRec has him at uh, 15th in the 168-pound division, which is aggressive because DeMond Nicholson is his best win. Uh, and, and, and no hate on DeMond Nicholson. It's just it's not a first-class win, although Nicholson's a fine fighter. Um, so you know, to get into the X's and O's, um, I, I, I was impressed that Nicholson – that um, Berlanger wasn't really pressing for the first round knockout. Um, you know, he, he was pressing for the knockout later, but he came out. I, I thought he was composed. Um, he was looking to set his everything he, he does is looking to set up his power, which is fine because his power is real. But um, and, and he fought well. He counters well. He counters really well. His footwork is 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 getting there. Um, his timing is getting there. He does a lot of things well. He's not even close to a finished product. I would not put him in the top 15 yet, although he's a good prospect. Um, I, I think he's got a lot of developing. I, I don't think he's ready for a top 10 fight just yet. Um, although he could be. Uh, I'm going to get into a name that I, I, I like, David Lemieux. I don't really think Lemieux is a top 10 guy. Uh, I think that's an interesting fight. It's an explosion waiting to happen. I, I like that fight. Um but we can get into some names because Berlanga is going to be a, at least a, a box office star, right? He's going to be a draw, uh, like we said if he, in, in in this picture. When he fight the guard, is going to be big. He's right. You know, he's a, a fun knockout artist of Puerto Rican descent from New York. This is going to be fun. Um, he's going to have a following, and he deserves it. He's a good fighter who's with a fun style, who's looking to knock people out. Um, so I don't think it's undeserved and i i think he's right it's going to be big when he fights in the garden so we can get into some names i i, I wouldn't start throwing them in there with the benavides or the caleb plants or the canelos or anything like that yet um i still want to see how he does when someone stands up to him the second knockdown he got uh, not the second knockdown uh but the, the last knockdown that he got with just moments left in the nicholson fight nicholson he caught him. Uh, he caught him with a hook, um, on, in an exchange. He counted him. He came over with it perfectly and dropped him. It, it was impressive. Um, I, I think Berlang is good. I think he has a lot of polishing. But he, I, I think he will be there one day. Um, I, I think he's a a a, a harder hitting version, a super middleweight version, with more defined skills, um, than Mungia at one sixty. I think that's a fair comparison. Uh, they kind of, you know, kind of built stock. He kind of built the same way. Well, Berlanga is much better. Um, I I like Berlanga. I like to see him fight Rocky Fielding next. I like to see him fight 
um, you know, someone like Hassan Nadam. Is that guy still around? Someone who, who can test him. Someone who's going to stand up to him. But I also want to see him fight a real true mover. I, I, I can't really think of one exactly right now who's in the division who fits the bill. But I'd like to see him fight someone who moves and someone who he's going to have to cut the ring off of. You know, Nicholson was supposed to play that part, but Nicholson largely was fighting to survive, even early on. Uh, Nicholson didn't want to be a part of that first round knockout streak, and he's not. You know, he survived the first round, but even after that, I thought Nicholson mostly was fighting to survive. And maybe his power is that great, where once you get hit by it a little bit, you don't want nothing else to do with it. Um, I was a little bit disappointed in Nicholson because I thought Nicholson could have given him some better work. Um, I thought Nicholson was holding. He's trying to smother him. He was never really fighting to win the fight. Do you guys feel that way too? Um, but all in all, I, I would say it's a B performance for Berlanger. Uh, he almost got him out. Um, again, he loads up too much, but I, that just might be the, the, the you know what I'm saying? It, it's like saying the Golden State Warriors shot too many threes in, in, in the Splash Brothers days. Like that kind of might just be what it is. Like he's going to either win or lose. By loading up and falling in love with his power. You know, can he sit there and outbox Caleb Plant? No. <laughs> right? So he's going to have to win by knockouts. But he can dent people, slow them down. Um, it, it, it's going to be a fun progression to see how he develops. Um, I, I think ultimately he's a 175 pound. He's got good height. He's 6'1". He's in the right camp with Rozier, that Havoc camp in Brooklyn. Um, it's a kid with talent. And we're going to see, it's going to be a fun ride to see how far it goes. Like I said, I want to see um, the David Lemieux fight. I think Rocky Fielding is a football opponent. This guy's like Chalamba Hassan uh, Nadam, I, I, I think is a, is a name that we could use. I, 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 those are the kind of names that I, I would look at. Um, but let me know what you guys think. What would you like to see him fight next? Were you guys impressed that he went the distance? Were you impressed with how he handled himself? Again, I, I thought it was good. I thought he showed signs, but I think there's a lot of polishing left to do. do. Uh, were you guys unimpressed that he couldn't get Nicholson out, which Jesse Hart did? Jesse Hart got him out, no problem. Although Jesse Hart's got uh, Jesse Hart's top ten guy. I, I don't. I wouldn't stick him in. I know it's Jesse Hart's at seventy five now, but I wouldn't stick him in with that level of guy yet. Um, not that he's not going to get there. He will get there. It's just not yet. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Remember, 3D Boxing. Uh, uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. It's 8 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Again, uh, there's a link in the description to Taka. This is National Autism Month. And uh, Taka is the Autism Community in Action. It's a charity that's and a cause that's near and dear to the heart of 3D Boxing. If you can... Please share it. That's free. If you can, donate to it. We'd greatly appreciate it. We understand if you can't. Um, it is April 25th. This month is flying along. April 25th, 2021. Um, Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. In the class 2021 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.